So if you're not already familiar with your Google Ads account admin access role and how to add people as an admin and everything, I'm going to break it down for you in this video just so that you understand how all this stuff works. Now first things first, we're going to need to come over here to admin on the left hand side and then click access and security, which is going to take us to the access and security page where we'll have users, managers, and security. And in the users tab here, we're going to see any, any users that are added to the account. This is me basically, and I'm added as an admin. And that means that I'm going to have more or less full control over the account and I'm going to be able to do anything and everything possible in an account, right? If you go to add, if you push, push, push this little add button right here, it's going to pop open a page and it's going to give us a breakdown of the different user access levels. And so you can see admin has full control over everything. They can add users, they can see everything in the account, and do basically anything and everything. Standard access is going to allow to do somebody to do basically everything other than manage users, managers, which we were seeing back here. So these are the two different types of access you can provide to an account. So it's al allowing somebody to or it's preventing, if you do standard, it's going to prevent somebody from being able to manage any of the users who can access the account, as well as connecting products. So that's like Google Analytics, Google Tag Manager, stuff like that, right? Google Merchant Center, etc. There's also read-only access, where people can get in here and just kind of see what's going on, or billing access, or email-only access, which is more like subscribing to updates. But given that you're probably looking at how admin access works, let's focus on this role specifically. So to add another admin to your account, of course, you want to make sure that whoever you're adding as an admin is typically going to be somebody you trust highly. <laughs> Uh, you know, that they're not going to just take over your account or do something really shady or whatever. And then you basically just put their email in here. So when you go to type in, well, let's just say like john at example.com, you just type their email in here and then click send invitation. However, it's showing us that there's uh, this domain is not allowed. So example.com, we have to basically go under security right here, which I'll show you here. So under the security tab, you'll see at the bottom there's allowed domains. And if we click on this, we would have to add example.com, right? If we do that, now it's going to allow us to come back here and add this domain that has, or add this email that has this domain at the end, example.com. So that's for security reasons. Google wants to prevent people from being able to access your account if, you know, they just have some random strange email. Even a Gmail account, you would have to add in, you know, Gmail. That will allow you to add somebody in with a Gmail account. And so that's it's pretty straightforward. You can just set whether or not you want it to expire. In most cases, it'll just be indefinite. And when you click invite, what it's going to do is it's going to send them a email saying, hey, you've been invited to access this Google Ads account. And then they'll need to accept the invite, at which point they'll be able to come in and access the account and basically do anything that you can do, assuming that you're also an admin here. And then you'll see them showing up here in the users section. If you ever want to remove them, you just click this remove access button right here, and that's going to allow you to remove an admin or any other user from your account. So that's basically how admin access works in Google Ads. If there's anything you did have questions about, don't hesitate to reach out. Just drop your questions in the comment section down below. 
and I'll be sure to get back to them there. Look, if you're the type of person that just doesn't even want to deal with Google Ads anymore, <laughs> then you can always reach out to me. Uh, my company is Missoula SEO Geek. I'll leave a link to my website down below, but we do manage Google Ads for different companies and different industries, and you can come learn about what we do, what makes us unique. You can even read some of the testimonials from some businesses that we've taken from zero to over a million in revenue, like this one here. And really just see that, you know, this is the type of thing that's going to explode your business growth. So feel free to reach out. You can always give us a call or contact us through our website. And look forward to working with you.